Hi everybody, this is CBGS, I'm the captain here, and today I actually want to give you guys a recap of all of the news from Overdress in the last three weeks of the Cardfight Vanguard weekly live streams, as well as our collective thoughts about us, uh, or rather from us, about the news and what we uncovered from them. First off, Overdress is a new format that will replace the V-Series as the new standard format in Cardfight Vanguard, and the V-Series will become the V-Premium, while Premium will remain the same going forward. This is a normal thing competitive-wise, this is done so so that there are still tournaments in the 3 year long format that is the V-Series, while they ease everybody into the Overdress format. One of the biggest changes made to the Overdress format is that there are now no longer 24 clans, but now 5 main nations. 6 total if you count Lyrical Monetes Stereo, where the mermaids are living on their biggest supporters' backs. There is now the Keta Sanctuary, Dragon Empire, Dark States, Stoikea, as well as Brankate as well. These are now the 5 new nations. So all the clans that were in the nations are now merged as one, with the exception of Stoikea, which now houses all of Zoo and Arcoforce and Grand Blue as well. Connecting them into 5 main nations is easier to balance the game and we couldn't agree more. In fact, the biggest takeaway for us is that the deck building process was blown wide open. Now that we'll be able to incorporate parts of different clans into one deck, like adding Murakumo's card cloning into Narukami's Pine and Retire, or having a full frontal assault with multiple Nova Grappler units alongside a high powered Dimension Please Vanguard, the situation is definitely worth a... <laughs> As a quick note, in premium format, uh, clans from a particular nation will be able to use the corresponding nations from the new overdressed cards and vice versa, so that means the premium format will be looking more like the Wild West of Cardfight Vanguard. I didn't want to do a full like bit here, but you know, I just want this video to be really really quick. Speaking of Hey Guys, a new Cardfight anime will be released, with character design drafts done by Clamp and the anime series produced by Kinema Citrus. Uh, it is said that the anime is going to be more story driven and not focus on the, the card fights in the manner that we're used to, which is actually alright. Uh, they do want to try and include more of the anime mainstream audience uh, into the anime itself. The lore of Planet Cray is that it's set 3000 years after Gizeh's defeat. Uh, Messiah has gone to sleep and Planet Cray has fallen into ruin. Uh, as the Chakrabati Divine Era begins, the various clans have long since merged into nations to survive the Deityless uh, Era. As the Maidens of Dragon Empire awaken the Chakrabati Divine Dragon from its legendary Dragon Egg. And now for the gameplay part. The Overdress format has so far introduced a new right deck mechanic, where 4 cards from your 50 card deck can be set aside to form your right deck. By discarding one card from your hand, you can ride a card from your right deck that is one grade higher than your Vanguard. It replaces the G assist for the new standard format, but it will not be implemented in V Premium or Premium for obvious reasons. Uh, this is game changing because misgrading will soon be a thing of the past and makes sure that all games, at least in Overdress, will reach the point where both players are fighting at grade 3. A new trigger is introduced called the OVER TRIGGER! God, I don't know how that's gonna sound. It gives 100 million power to any unit. You heard me. 100 million power! There's only one over trigger allowed in a deck and it also nullifies that particular damage when reviewed as a damage check. As a drive check, additional abilities are activated after the trigger power is added. We also know that each nation will have their own unique over triggers and holy crap baskets the Dragon Empire one was a choice one in terms of the reveal. The first over trigger had the additional skill of giving another 100 million power to another unit but for the Dragon Empire, their over trigger will allow them to re-stand their vanguard. This news was the most recent reveal on their stream and at the time of me recording, I'm still reeling from it. Uh, for Dragon Empire's over trigger to let it re-stand the vanguard, what would the other nations have for theirs? It's very very hard to speculate. Another new mechanic introduced in Overdress is the Persona Ride ability that's featured on the Dragon Empire Grade 3. Somewhat similar to Break Ride for older players, when you ride a unit with the same card name uh, over your Vanguard with the Persona Ride icon, you can draw one card from, from your deck and during your turn all your front row units get plus 10k power. It looks a bit like the markers from the, the V series, but it is said to replace the markers themselves. Uh, nothing has been mentioned about other abilities overdressed yet, but we still have about 6 weeks more to go to find out if there is going to be anything more. 
Now, product-wise, they announced that five new start decks is coming out, one for each main nation, and they're going to be for a very, very low price of 333 yen, which is the cheapest pre-built decks ever released in Vanguard history. A new booster pack set is releasing as well after the start decks, where every release will now support all five main nations. And the following month, they are actually doing a 10th anniversary festival booster where there's going to be uh, one new card for the Overdress uh, Nations uh, released within that set. Not only that, they're also doing away with rarities higher than Triple R, which is such a good move. Uh, the problem we found with rarities like VR and GR back then was that they were main vanguards and staples to the current boost of the set. They get mighty expensive if you go into the secondary markets for them and you need to get them for your deck. But with things going back to the way of old Vanguard, it makes it so that it's easier for you to get your triple R's. And we believe with it being nations and not clans anymore, there are going to be other viable triple R's that you can play alongside or as alternatives to the main triple R of that nation. And with the new rarities like Hollow and DSR's for Shiny Hunters, uh, and like these things are not locking out any units uh, behind those rarities, it's much needed uh, for any out of touch or new players that are going to come into Vanguard for Overdress. One last thing that was revealed in the past three live streams was also the deck list for the Dragon Empire start deck. You'll have a full playset of the main grade trees, four sentinels, one over triggered, and even two order cards. The last one is quite surprising considering how underutilized the order cards are in the V era, uh, rather the V series. I guess with the new format, it will be able to become more substantial since Release-wise, as mentioned, it was very unutilized, but let's hope that they stop discovering new mechanics and try to, you know, have something at the start of the season rather than try and shove it in the middle of the season, you know? Like, like that, you know? Thanks, Bashir. Anyways, that's all the important news for the past three live streams of our Overdress so far. We'll be looking to do this weekly or bi-weekly in terms of recaps, but if you like this video, then be sure to slam that like button. If you'd like to join us live, we'll be streaming ourselves uh, watching the Vanguard live streams on Tuesdays. But from next week onwards, we'll be streaming them on Twitch instead. Yes, CVGS has taken over my old Twitch channel and we are going to be there as often as we can to bring you not only our Vanguard live streams on Tuesdays, but also the various games we want to play and stream. So why not head over there uh, in the link below and give us a follow. At the same time also be sure to slam that like button as well and ring the ding the bell so you can get notified of all of our videos whenever they release. Follow us on all of our socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram as well as uh, our Discord. Uh, where we're there on most nights, so you can actually find us there. And last but not least, if you like what you see here and you want to support us directly, you can join our membership and get access to our meme emotes and badges uh, that you can use during our live streams and premieres for as low as $1. And you can join one how law in having your name uh, read out in our videos. So with that said, thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!